O assessment. So from within Meta, in the top right corner, we'll see Create Proposal. We'll follow the menus, Proposal Type, we'll find SLO Assessment. So as an individual instructor, we'll choose SLO Assessment. We'll choose our subject, and you can just create a title for now. It'll change later. And then Review and Create Proposal. And we'll follow the menus on the left. Everything should turn green as we go through the process. We'll select our term. Subject should be selected already. And then we want to make sure we choose active courses, not historical. You can scroll or type. I find it a little hard to scroll, so I find it easier to type. I'll choose my active version. And then again, active version or current version. Hit save and this bottom title will self-populate. Now that it's green, we can move on to the next step, outcome to be assessed. Um, you must select all of them and choose a target score. And it should turn green on the left and we can move on. We'll enter our CRN, the modality, and how many students were enrolled. Save and it turns green on the left. So we just keep going. Assessment plan. This is how we assessed the SLO. So choose how you assessed it. And then do you need any budget resources? And then describe the plan. Describe how you assessed, any methods. And we will do that for each SLO. So we need to go through it for each SLO. We'll click on the next SLO, same thing, select how, budget, yes or no, describe the assessment plan, and then we'll do it for the last SLO. And again, describe the plan. And we'll see it's green, and we'll move on, we'll enter the scores. These are the scores of who we think met um, the outcome. So how many students were enrolled at census. Uh, maybe they all took the assessment, maybe not. So how many took the assessment? And then how many met our target score? This percent will autofill. And then we will reflect a little. So. Did this meet our expectations? Yes, my expectations were 80 and I was in the 90s. Um, what actions are recommended to improve student learning? You can reflect there and we will repeat this for each SLO. Oops, I missed the numbers. 40, maybe 38 also took this one, but maybe only 34. And again, it auto populates. We will go back down one more 40, 38, and maybe 32 met the target score in this one. And percentages are auto populating, and again, actions recommended. And we're done. I've gone through, make sure you go through all the SLOs. We will go to course summary. This will autofill at the top. So how well do the current learning outcomes reflect the student needs to learn? So well-defined, they need to be reviewed or they need significant revisions. And then we'll do a little bit of a reflection and we'll be done. So in the first text box, this is discussing strengths and weaknesses. revealed by the assessment. So you can reflect here. In the second text box, um, we discuss recommendations for improvements um, and or actions taken by the department. So these are ideas of what the question is asking you to do. 
Um, you can include discussion on resources or things you may need. Um, and in the final text box, text box um, we'll discuss our reflection. We'll have a discussion or a reflection um, within our department related to the assessment. So again, one last reflection. So you'll have three little reflections on this final page, um, open-ended. And once it's done, you'll select Save. You may or may not have files to attach. And then you'll go ahead and hit Launch. If you don't finish on the spot, it does save. And you'll find it by going to Curriculum and going to Assessment. And you'll see it, the drafts here. So these are drafts that have not been launched. And you can see you can access it again. And that's it. So that is completing an SLO assessment.